In this quick tip, I'm going to show you what the roughness values are so you know what they are doing to your object and why you are getting a certain roughness result. Now, I'm only going to focus on showing you using the metallic roughness PBR workflow, which is what's being used in UE4, UE5, and the result of black and white values using the metallic roughness. But there's a second PBR workflow, which is specular glossiness. And in this PBR workflow, instead of calling it roughness, it's called glossiness. And you would just simply invert the values that are shown in this video. So very quickly, roughness defines how reflective and shiny or how dull and rough your material, your surface is. And every material, every object in the real world has roughness to it. This is how you can tell concrete from wood, wood from plastic and so on. So for example, if I drag this plastic grip, there's a certain amount of shininess to this material that is seen in the real world. If I drag one of these wood materials, certain types of wood has specific amount of roughness, more shiny. And other wood, such as this wood bark, is more rough and again every single material will have a certain amount of roughness to it it'll be either more reflective more shiny or it'll be more dull and rough and usually every material will have a variation in between so inside the viewport if you switch over to roughness individual single channel this will display the colors of roughness roughness is always black and white and grayscale in between and white will be rough and dull or value of one and black will be shiny and reflective value of zero and for specular glassiness PBR workflow, you just invert the values. Black is zero, rough and dull. White is one, shiny and reflective. So this concrete has more middle grayscale values. This is why you see the result that you're getting. And in order to see the roughness result on your surface, you just have to position the camera just right so the material or the surface absorbs or reflects more light or move the light until you get to see the roughness on your surface. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see the roughness if the camera or the light is not positioned just right. I'm going to get rid of these two layers really quick and create a new fill layer. Let's give it a color, something more like green. And you can see how shiny this is. Let's scroll down into the roughness channel right here. And you can control between 0 and 1 how rough or how shiny this material is going to be. So black value you can see is 0 and it's very shiny, very reflective roughness. And with a value of 1, which is white, this is very dull, very rough material. Good for concrete, good for rock. And if you go down closer to 0, this is good for plastics good for certain car finishes, maybe certain tile or polished wood. And for roughness, you can be anywhere in between using any of the grayscale values and you'll have certain amount of roughness or certain amount of shininess. So remember black or value of zero is shiny or reflective and white value of one, very rough and dull. Let me switch over to roughness really quick and control the roughness values. And you can see it's changing to black, to shiny or to white, which is dull. I can also drag any of the textures just so you get to see more clearly by switching over to textures and using any of these grunge maps and dragging it into roughness input. So this is now using a black and white grayscale texture that's going to give us variety of roughness within the surface within this material. So again, black is going to be shiny and white is going to be dull and I can control the balance here. So when you're looking at a roughness, this really helps to know what you are doing to your surface, to your texture, to your roughness texture, and the result you're going to get when you look at the material and how the light will be bouncing off of it, whether it's going to absorb that light or reflect more light. And knowing these values now, you can even paint your own roughness into a surface. So if I create a simple paint layer, I'm gonna disable everything except for roughness. And now we can use a brush, any brush, I'll just use this simple rounded brush and paint in a black or white value. And now that you know what they are, you can paint in the roughness to be more shiny. Or if you switch it to anywhere between zero and one, let's go all the way to one. This is going to be more rough or we can do somewhere in between. And this is producing our roughness and painting into the roughness channel because that's all we're doing with this layer is painting in the roughness manually. And you can see we're painting in the black and white values. So this is very important to know, and now you will understand what the roughness values are doing, so you have more control.